question. Start with the. So yeah, um, just get rid of that screen. So as we, because that was just the Holy Spirit, I couldn't even open my eyes now. It just takes over. So let's start every every session with the prayer, where we set our intention, where we we already know Holy Spirit knows and what's in our heart, but it's us affirming, I truly want to be of service. I'm doing this so that through the acceleration of my awareness of the Christ I am, I could be the light of the world. It's why I came, to remember myself. But now that I have remembered myself, I offer this device that is awoken to self, playing out its scripted role to be a light for my siblings who want to find a way home. And I ask the memory of God to make sure that I never lose focus, that I never lose faith, that I never lose humility, that he, that I'm a constant reminder to self and others, of fractured selves. There is only one indivisible self, the Christ self, the Holy Son of God, we all are. And as we, as we heal, all of us are healed alongside. So this is a visualization technique. All I want you to do right now is just imagine yourself in the most relaxed position you can be. And for the sake of this exercise, we're standing in a beautiful hotel room corridor. And it's beautifully lit. We're standing at an open door. On the door, there's a number. The number on the door is this corresponds with our age. So the numbers on the door is our age. I want you to look very closely at the numbers. Look at the shape of the numbers. Look at how they're attached to the door. And this is our safe space. When we lock back into the room where we're standing at the doorway, the room is just filled with light, pure light. This light is filled with peace. This light is the Christ light. This light is peace. This light is joy. This light is our safety. It is our home. And we are safe. I want us to look down at our feet. We notice we're not wearing any shoes. We can feel the carpet underneath our feet. I want you to give the carpet in the corridor whatever color you choose to give it. I want you to look at the corridor walls. On either side of you, there's doors. If you look to the right of you, that door is the corresponding number lower than the door that you're standing in. They're going down in descending order. corridor is beautifully lit it's nice and wide it's lit it's light the carpet is soft it's inviting this is the corridor timeline of our current life it is all contained within our mind our mind is filled with light we are safe we are held we are protected Are the omnipresent, omnipotent power of God. We are completely safe. No matter what we see, no matter what thoughts interrupt us, our being is perfectly safe, cannot be harmed, cannot be touched. And in this recognition, we say, I am. I am this light. I am safe. I am perfectly healed. I am held in the light. I am protected by light.
And now we're going to start walking down the corridor. If you look at the end of the corridor, as you walk down, you see the door numbers descending in numbers. We're walking towards the ed end of the corridor, the other opposite end. And you can see a bright light at the end of the corridor. Let's just gently walk down this corridor towards the light. And it's relaxing and it's peaceful. It's quiet. Our thoughts are going quiet. All the sounds in and around us actually are helping us relax. Our breathing is relaxed. The energy in our body is calm. And the sound of my voice helps you relax deeper and deeper. And yet you stay conscious of my voice no matter what happens. You are connected to the light through my voice. Nothing can cut the connection between my voice and your self. When we keep walking towards the light, and the closer we get to the light, the more peaceful we become. The more intense the lightness the joyous lightness of being. It's like we're leaving the world far behind us. As we start to touch on the edges of the light at the end of the corridor. Light is all around us. We're reaching the end of the corridor now. I want us to step in through the light, into the light. And the light just extends and expands through us, from us, all around us. There is nowhere we start and the light ends. It's just an internal extension. And there's a recognition. I am home. I am the light. I am one with the light. God is the light with which I see. This is the light, which is the life force I am. This light is the love of God I am. This is an indestructible force, the most powerful force ever created. This is the light of creation. This is the light which is the essence energy of God. It's the very essence which is God. We are home in the light, as the light, with the light. We are the light. This is the light that seems to have been forgotten in the dream. And it's the only reason why we came. We came to bring this light in awareness, back to our sibling. And we are now bathed and filled with this infinite lightness of being. This is our being shared with God's being. One indivisible light of awareness. And now we tell our father why we are here. He already knows, but we are going to affirm it. <laughs> 
remind ourselves why we've chosen to be of service to our father and our siblings. We chose to be the light that brings our siblings home. And we thank you, Father, for giving us this honor, this privilege of being your messengers, of being the carriers of your voice, the voice for God. We choose to be. And so we state the voice for God, I am. The light of God, I am. The peace and joy of God, I am. And I now choose to be the messenger for God, I am. Thank you, Father, for these experiences we called our life, for being there through our hardships, our joys, our pains, our suffering. You've always been with us. You are the light which animates us. Thank you for allowing us to go on a journey where we beat ourselves up and we're beaten up by our makings only so that we could remember you as we remember you now. And all of it was only for this holy instant. This is the holy instant I give to you for. Be you in charge. And we now follow you. Completely certain with total clarity. It's only in your direction in which we know ourselves as the love and the peace of God. So we say thank you to the light, to the essence, energy, which is God our Father. We affirm it with the four carrier angels. We say Amen, 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 and Amen. And so be it. Our journey back to God is complete. And now we realize our journey with God starts now. As we choose to bring the light of awareness through us, in us, to the world in our dreaming mind. And in gratitude, we bow down and say thank you. Let us turn around and re-enter the corridor, which is the timeline of our life. We are now going to slowly and deliberately Ascend in age, ascend in numbers. If ever we get to a door where we feel a part of ourselves is not fully released and fully healed, we will stop at that door. Open the doorway and allow the light which we are, the light which we now bring, we will allow that light to flood, flood in to that door through that door, into that period of our life where the remnants of ourself isn't fully healed. And we will flood our past self full of light. And once our past self is fully healed, we'll absorb our past self into our self, our present self, our holy self, our Christ self. And then close the door as we proceed back up the corridor. Until we reach the door with the current age we are in, the door from which we departed on this journey. And now we will do this silently and quietly. At any stage you need to call on, Father, you just raise your hand. 
and the light of love and peace and kindness will flow through you, intensify and get rid of any harmful memory, any attack thoughts which are making manifest in our lives now will be completely dispelled by the power and the glory which is God's light forever. Nothing can withstand this. No attack thought can ever touch us again. For we are now the light, which is the love and light of God. And nothing can touch us again. Nothing is holding us back again. We are the light of the world. By God's command. By God's will and instruction, we say, thy will be done. And so be it. Now let's take our time as we ascend back in age to the corridor from where we came. Let the light do the healing as we return to our present holy self. And so be it. I will let you now go at your own pace. If you need me to extend the intensity of the light, just raise your hand and I will pour the light into you from our Lord God of our being into our shared selves. I am the light of the world. I am on a body, I am free. What harm can come to light when light is all there is? I am the light of the world. I am not a body. I am free. And through my freedom, I bring freedom to all my brothers. By God's light flowing through me, are all reminded of the light we are. Return at your own time to the present light of awareness you are. And realize that you're extending the love and the light of God here now forevermore. You are the light. As you step back into the present here and now, Back into the room whose number corresponds with your current age. I want you to step through the doorway. Close the door behind you. Nothing from your past 
can ever affect you here now. If any thought, thought in form, any energy in this dream world attacks you anyway, all you'll simply state is I am that I am. And you'll extend the light you are. And nothing can withstand the power of God's will, of God's light, of the Christ light you are. Extend. And all negativity, all attack thoughts, be gone in the name of the Christ I am. The Lord God of being, I am. This is my offer to my Father in service to myself. As we once again become one, holy, indivisible, Christ mine, the Holy Son of God, has returned home to his father's kingdom for we have never left it's taken a deep breath as we bring the energy back into our bodies as we exhale we say i am and so be it i am take another deep breath inhale as you exhale find your eyelids becoming lighter start to open your eyes returning to the room and extend, expand yourself. You are the light. You're always the light. Now you know you are fully aware. I am that I am. I am the light of the world. I choose to be the light of the world. I choose to be an instrument for the voice for God, the memory of our Father here and now. And so be it. Amen. 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 And so be it. Thank you, Father. Glory be to you always. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Just stay here for as long as you need. You're ready. You can continue. Well, when I take it off recording now? Sure. I heat up so much with the Holy Spirit, I stopped taking my kit off. <laughs>